What's up everybody? Here's my second tech rescue video where I find technology on eBay listed as four parts and I take care of the issues and release it back into the community for someone else to enjoy. We achieved two goals with this. Number one, we practice repairing electronics as a DIYer. Number two, we prevent electronics from going into the landfill. I found this Acer Chromebook 15, specifically model C910, with a keyboard issue and without a charger. I've known this model and it's a great budget Chromebook. The shell looks ugly, but we'll clean it up. When you open it, the inside looks great, which is weird. I expected wear marks. The keyboard looks new, but we know from the ad that some keys don't work. It's already been reset, so it's likely a hardware issue. I turned it on to confirm the bad keys and checked the battery health. To check the battery health, open up a cross terminal and type battery underscore test. 92.8%, that's pretty awesome. I bought a replacement keyboard and a charger for it. Let's replace the keyboard. To open it, remove the back screws and lift the back cover. It looks great, there are no signs that the keyboard was replaced. To access the keyboard, we need to remove everything. Disconnect the battery and remove it. Disconnect the touchpad and remove it. Disconnect the keyboard cable. Disconnect the LED light cable and the USB port cable. Remove the speakers. Disconnect the Wi-Fi antennas. Remove the motherboard screws. Disconnect the screen cable. Remove the SSD. Lift the motherboard out. Remove the USB port. Separate the screen from the keyboard. Remove the plastic sheet. To remove the keyboard, you have to pry and break off all the plastic rivets. Once the rivets are unfastened, lift the metal plate and remove the keyboard. Let's install the new keyboard. Can you guess which is the new keyboard? I'm attaching the new keyboard using an old soldering iron and an ABS plastic rod. Insert the keyboard, the metal plate, melt the rivet heads, add some ABS plastic if needed. Make your way across. Here is the finished product. When putting everything back together with screws, look for arrows or triangles pointing to where the screws are needed. It's all back together now. The keys that were identified as bad are now good. The computer works great. To clean the shell, I first used Goof Off to remove the sticker adhesive. The stickers are off now and it looks okay. Let's clean the underside. Looks better now. The next day the shell was ugly. You can see the white layer on the plastic. I think the plastic shell was already oxidized and the Goof Off stripped it clean, exposing the oxidation. I used the magic eraser to remove the white layer. Looks way better from the top. Repeat on the bottom cover. I had some mothers back to black to rejuvenate the car plastic trim and I rubbed it on with a microfiber towel. Here are the results the next day. Boom. Boom. I posted the Chromebook on Facebook Marketplace for two weeks. I ended up selling it to a guy living in a hotel about 20 miles away. He did not have transportation, so I met him at the Taco Bell next to his hotel. All right, let's go over the numbers. 
For the Chromebook, the keyboard, and the charger, I paid a total of $80.16. I sold it for $40, and I took a loss of $40. But that's okay because we achieved our goals. Overall, it was a good experience bringing this Chromebook back to life. If you like this video, give it a like, leave your thoughts in the comments section, and I'll see you in the next one.